shade has a drastic impact on PV system energy production. Approximately 12% of this array is shaded, but the energy production has been reduced by 35%. Accurate shade analysis is essential to PV system design because it influences the position of the modules and allows for accurate power production estimates. Measuring shade accurately can be difficult and time-consuming, but with the Solmetric Sun Eye 210, you can capture detailed shade data in seconds. Simply point the device due south, hold it level, and press the button, and the Sun Eye will capture a picture of the sky above you and analyze the image to detect shade-causing obstructions. The annual Sun Path view automatically indicates shade-causing obstructions in green and open sky in yellow. Solar access is the percentage of available solar resource at that location after accounting for shading. Solar access is not the same as the MCS shading factor. To display the MCS shading factor for the current measurement, simply open the main menu, display the view options, and select MCS shading factor. The MCS sun path chart is displayed and the shading factor is reported at the top of the screen. Note that this feature will only be available if the SunEye locale is set to the UK. SunEye data can also be transferred to a computer and viewed in the SunEye desktop software. To view the MCS shading factor in the SunEye desktop software, open the View drop-down menu and select MCS shading factor. Like on the SunEye device, the shading factor is shown at the top of the screen. According to the MCS guide, any shade-causing object within 10 meters must be calculated differently. This calculation can be performed automatically by the SunEye device and by the SunEye desktop software by marking near shading objects in edit mode. On both the SunEye device and the SunEye desktop software, edit mode is accessed by clicking the yellow and green paintbrush icon in the bottom right corner of the screen. Click this button to add near shading object markers to the highest point of each obstruction within 10 meters of the measurement location. The highest point of an obstruction is the point closest to the center of the image. Click this button to remove a near shading object marker. Once all desired markers have been placed, click this button and select Apply Changes. Notice that semicircles with radii equal to the height of the near shading obstructions are now visible and that the shading factor has been recalculated accordingly. Remember that if the obstruction extends above the top of the sun path chart, the marker can be placed at the highest point within the sun path chart. In the MCS sun path chart view, click and drag a marker to reposition it. The SunEye desktop software can export shade analysis reports. The report will automatically include the MCS shading factor plot for each measurement. For more information, please contact one of Solmetric's local distribution partners.